Welcome Sagittarius to your numerology reading for December. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. And for relaxation, de-stress, and a little meditation, um, there is a 30-second um, de-stress uh, relaxation video at the end of the video. Okay. Alrighty, friends. Let's see what's going on with you. straight into what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. I will be adding the de-stress 30-second video to the spiritual readings and the numerology. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Best message. What is it that you need Sagittarius to know? Best message from the divine. Communication 33. Nice. So having 33 coming out, that's already talking about divine talking to you. Anything that's double digits uh, like that or triple digits is talking about, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. I want you to communicate. I want you to use your intentions of communication. It is very important that you start communicating. Um, they might even be saying, I see your communication and I love what you're doing. Continue to keep going forward with the way you're communicating. Okay, so take that how it resonates. Um, if you know you've been communicating well, Spirit is saying, I see that. Please continue. Um, if you have not started yet, it's telling you, go ahead and let's start opening up those lines of communication. Okay. So, clarifying on the communication with the sacred rebel cards, please. Card coming out is Heaven Sent. Oh, 33 again. Look at that. 33. Oh, they're definitely trying to get your attention over here. 33, again, I want you to communicate through your heaven sent. Look at that. Using your higher intuition, you're unifying yourself with yourself using what you need. Wow. So uh, talking about this heaven sent over here, it's talking about receiving gifts in a physical world through the thoughtfulness of others to acknowledge how we mean to them. So when you're communicating with them, you're telling them how much they mean to you, showing them how much you mean to them, using your thoughts to say, hey, you know what? You mean a lot to me. Thoughts are power. Words are power. Right? Not just action. So it's acknowledging how much they mean to you so that you can receive the gifts on other levels and help them receive gifts too, including the spiritual level. There's a spiritual gift that is starting to happen within yourself and it's bringing in this spiritual gift called grace. <clears throat> We can ask for help in, a given, in any given response. If you need help and you want to communicate with the heavens, you need to use your thoughts, use your words. I always say words are more powerful because they are. Words are more powerful than thought. Um, and then, of course, action is more of, you know, anything physical. But when you're talking, words are more powerful than thought. But it doesn't matter. They're saying, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> use your thoughts. I can hear you. A spiritual gift can also be given without us asking for anything at all. And that's pretty much what's happening. But then you have this intention going on as well. So you're actually asking for this intention. You're asking, communicating for whatever it is you're doing. And they're saying, that's fine. Keep going. Because the gift that I'm giving you at this moment is called grace. Sometimes it's our hearts that cry out for help more than ourselves. It's an unconscious way of looking at something. We're not consciously aware that our soul is doing such a thing. While we're busy getting on and doing our to-do list, Christmas shopping, doing the things we want, a lot of times our souls are reaching out. You're reaching out while you're dreaming. Whether it's conscious, unconscious, or not conscious at all, however you want to see it, it's opening up this dwelling within yourself, reaching out to the divine. The divine is saying, I can hear you communicating with me. Your spiritual gift may only be symbolic, right? Like grace. And sometimes it's something that seems ordinary, but holds a lot of meaning to you. It might be an object that catches your eye and memorizes you. 
It might think you are appreciating how lovely it looks, but there is an underlining energy that captures you. Something in the appearance, color, or shape speaks to you, and perhaps it's answering an unspoken prayer. It is not the object that is the gift. It's the actual gift is the subtleness that you're using towards it and using that effective empowerment. It is like a spiritual booster shot that keeps you moving forward and getting this peace and this grace from it. And it builds this extra strength. And the more extra strength that you're getting from this communication is also greater peace. So whether it's just you talking to the spirit, talking to your higher self, actually also bestowing your words to others in communication. Maybe there's something you would like to communicate to someone else from this heavenly sent place that you are, showing them how peaceful you are. And maybe it's the perfect timing, Spirit is saying, for you to talk to others because you are in this place of peace, relaxation, grace. That way you can actually get your communication out the way it's wanting to be without holding on any frustrations and subtleties. This will also allow no heated conversations of, you know, negative aspect because they'll see that you're at peace and it will actually calm them as well. Archangel Raphael coming in with the healing for eight. Eight is a significant number. It's talking about, right, the abundance, that prosperity, the intention. We're talking about the intention coming out as yellow and then you have the eight coming out for the manifestation for the intention. And Archangel Michael says that, or Raphael, I'm sorry, is the healer. And he's talking about this healing energy. And if you guys see Archangel Raphael, he comes in a green. So if you're meditating and you see this green light coming around you, you know that you are inspired and surrounded by Archangel Raphael. Green is the healing because of the compassion in the heart chakra. So when he comes to heal, he uses a lot of green. He is the green aura that you see around you. Some of you who can actually see auras, if you see a lot of green around someone, you could say, oh, you're in a healing process. But this is also the healing process that you're bringing through the communication for yourself. And Archangel Raphael is coming up within the reading saying, because I'm the angel who's talking to you, I'm telling you, this is where you're going. This is how it's going to be. I want you to be in, infused within my light. And you can take that healing within yourself and you can pass it. Because energy that's positive, you pass on to others through your communication, through your words, through your thoughts. And through also the actions that you're doing. The actions of communication could be sign language using your hands <clears throat> or you know something of that nature or just communicating by giving gifts from the heart it's also a sign of a different kind of communication written words however it is but the archangel Raphael really wants you to understand that he can also come in the guise of a human so if you feel like you have met this person and you feel like this very huge um, just compassionate, healing, emotionally stable, loving person. All angels are loving though, you know, I mean, it's going to be hard, but you feel like you, you just feel like there's this healing piece around them. They could be infused with that, that angel. This card also indicates that, that helpful others may be attending you now. But he's also saying it's also him who is attending you. But he may also be bringing in other people to help you along the way. People who are going to be like-minded, who want to communicate from the same source that you're, that you're doing. It also portrays a time of great achievement in your personal life. And Raphael is opening up all the doors. Blessings all around you making sure that you're healed and have the condition and having the breakthrough through all the communications. He could even be making you a miracle worker. And those of you who are psychic, he could be infusing you with these psychic gifts to help communicate better on a more healing level. Very powerful, very 
inspiring. I'm going to the next card. For some of you, you might have felt like you were at the war of the roses with this other person, and maybe that's why you need this piece of calm within yourself. You're tired of the war of the roses, war of the roses within your own mind, the war that's going on, the war of the heart, the roses, the heart. And then you have Archangel Raphael over here saying, yes, there is this war, but we're going to communicate about how to make peace. Peace within yourself, peace with this other group, peace with this other person. No matter what, it's going to start with you. And once your intuition starts, you know, really waking up and you really start understanding this communication that's going on within you, you're going to have this greater understanding through intuition to say, well, I don't understand why we're even at war. There's no reason. I'm just going to throw up my flag because you know what? This is just ridiculous. There's just no reason for this. Because you're going to start seeing from a different perspective. As the Archangel Raphael wraps you around his wings and he brings you down, he's going to make you understand, what are you fighting for? Is it worth it? Giving you more better communication skills within this area of your life with this person. It could even be a water sign that you're dealing with. Raphael is of a water sign, and so is the roses. So it could be this Pisces, Cancer, or this Scorpio. I have Scorpio coming out, and it's saying, I'm opening the doors, whether it's to this person, but however it is, remember what he said, I'm opening the doors to the blessings that are abroad that are surrounding you. And there it is with the seven of cups, seven being a holy number, saying, I'm bringing this in for you. You're going to have all kinds of different ideas. All kinds of new things are going to start hitting you and making you understand. Because as he's communicating with you, you're communicating with yourself and everyone around you. So there's more communication. Having the challenges and saying, what, it's again, seven again, why are you fighting? You're going to wake up and say, I don't understand this fight. Having the seven of coins. Oh my gosh, you guys, seven, seven, seven. This is a divine reading. And then you have the 33, 33 angels coming through telling you, what are you fighting for? Let's patiently plan. Let's figure this out. Let's get on the same page. There's no reason we can't be on the same page. Can we really figure out why everybody's fighting? Do you really want to fight? Do you really want to fight? Is it really worth fighting or is it just all BS? Having the sun coming out, saying we can cycle through this. We're going to find the intentions, the vitality, the desires to change the cycle around. Having the star coming out with the sun, having another angel come through, saying here you go, another spiritual, the sun. Right? Or what? The Wheel of Fortune, because they have this beautiful change going on. Once this person understands where you're coming from, from a divine, the things you're going to say, the way you're going to communicate, they're going to want to wave the, the white flag. Absolutely. They're going to want to move forward with you because they're saying, what are you saying? Because you're speaking from a higher self. They're going to want to cut the swords. They're saying, okay, fine. I separate from the pain and the anguish. I see that you're speaking your truth, that you understand where you're coming from. And you're saying, oh. Here it comes. It'll be coming more balanced within you. And then the fighting will become more of a compromise. Why will it become? Because your perspective has changed and you're going to kind of change their perspective as well. They may not want it. They might try to fight you and challenge you. Remember, they're going to try to challenge you at first. But then they're going to come to level-headedness and say, I get it. I understand. As you're making progress and having the realizations, you're going to make them also have this perception because you already have all the perception. You see it from a whole different light, reflecting upon the situation, and then all you have is the new growth and perspective and understanding. And they're going to come to this conclusion, too, because they're going to say, what the heck are you doing? So you're going to transform, and they're going to start letting go. Somebody's dealing with a Scorpio. I'm going to let go because I see where you're coming from. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer. Yes, because they're going to say, I understand where you're coming from. 
but it's going to be all this divine language that's going to come through you. And then later you might even sit down and tell yourself and say, what the heck just happened? Don't worry about it. Just know that the angels were coming through you to help you speak. They put you in a place of, of pure grace and truth. So that you could see exactly what you need to see. And not only from just an intuitive side, now all of a sudden your analytical mind picks it up. So when you're speaking your truth, you're going to be saying it with your own conscious mind, right? Your own human mind. Because now it's going to take it and it's going to form it and you're going to say, this is how it's going to be. And they're going to, like I said, try to challenge it at first, but then they're going to realize that everything you're saying makes sense. If this is a love relationship, let's get some love cards out real quick. Seeing what it is for the truth. And if it doesn't have anybody else involved, then it's just you understanding everything. And then you saying, I can do this. If I need this job, I can get this job. I will speak the truth to myself. Because no matter what, you're going to do that anyways. Trust. Yes, this situation is calling for you to have faith within the divine and through the divine communication very soon. Clearly decide without, excuse me, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now, knowing how to do that. Okay. And this is because all of these things come together as soon as you let go of the control. Why? What's the control? The control is just allowing the monkey mind to say, oh, I don't know what that, that light bulb is. Oh, I don't know why they think that we're going to be able to fix this. As soon as you release all that and allow everything else to come through and really sit back, meditate, and really listen. And like I said, I'll put up that 30-second video to allow you to relax the mind. You don't need more than 30 seconds, right? Remember we used to get mad and they said, do a countdown to 10? It's the same thing. It's going to allow you to release so that that way you can open and hear what you need to hear. We can all hear our inner self. It's our gut feeling. And this way it will allow this process to really start taking charge and you to allow yourself to open up, to become self-assured in the process and have more receiving coming at hand. Because remember, you have all this receiving of the grace and the abundance. Okay. Beautiful reading, my friends. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to every one of you. And I will see you next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.